Hello everyone, this is Varstrom eBike. We've been in the bicycle DIY industry for five years now, mainly operating in Europe and the United States. I hope to assist everyone through video production. Today, we're unboxing the TSDZ8 motor from Tongsheng Electric. I'm aware that some merchants previously misrepresented the TSDZ2B as 750 watt by sticking a 750 watt power label on it for sales while its actual rated power is only 500 watt. What we have here today is the genuine TSDZ8 model with a rated power of 750 watt. This model has been on the market for a while, but its popularity started to rise earlier this year. It's worth noting that all TSDZ series motors, including TSDZ8, are products of Tongsheng Electric. There's another brand on the market called Toe7, in fact, they are two different companies, so please be aware of the distinction. If everyone wants to see products like DM02 from Toe7, we will consider producing them. Please let us know in the comments. I'll be conducting a series of detailed tests on the TSDZ8 motor and comparing it with the Beifang BB02B, which also has a rated power of 750 watt. In the DIY mid-motor bicycle market, they are direct competitors. I hope to understand Tongsheng Electric's intentions through this evaluation. Today, let's start with the unboxing and provide a clear comparison between TSDZ8 and BBS02B. There may be shortcomings, so feel free to discuss them in the comments, and I'll address each one. First, let's take out the Tongsheng TSDZ8 motor body. You'll notice a sticker indicating the motor's model, rated voltage, rated power, RPM, and product code. Specific parameters are listed in the top right corner for your reference. Importantly, it comes with a torque sensor and is one of the few mid-motors on the market that doesn't require a special bracket support and can be installed inside the bike's bottom bracket. As we know, BBS supports programming via USB programming cable, and TSDZ8 also supports OSF programming, which I'll focus on in the next video. Next is the display. Vartsrom currently offers customization for four display models, SWM58, 810S, EKD01, and the classic 500C. I currently have 810S and EKD01, do you have a preference? Varstrom promises to develop more display options in the future, so if you want more choices, please contact us. Let's start with the first display, the 810S. It's a new model, somewhat similar to the 800S, and I consider it an upgraded version. It's a simple display, which I'll detail in the next video. The second display is the EKD01, released in 2023. It's a cost-effective display with many features, including Bluetooth support, at an affordable price. However, some functions are still in development, such as UI themes. We'll continue improving it, and your feedback is welcome. Now, the accompanying crank set. You'll notice the right crank is straight, while the left crank has an offset. This increases the distance from the crank to the bottom bracket center, avoiding interference with the rear triangle of some bikes. It's a thoughtful design to anticipate potential issues. Speed sensor, similar to BBS, which I'll explain in detail in the next installation video. Installation parts, kit, 44T, chain ring with a protective cover, offering some defense against dirt. Like the left crank, it also has an offset to prevent chain drop issues when using 910 speed cassettes. A very good design. 1T4 main cable, similar to BBS's 1T4 cable but customized by Varstrom with waterproof connectors. It connects the display, brake levers, and throttle to the main cable. Brake levers, custom made by Tongsheng. I'll test its comfort during installation. Bottom bracket removal tool, very useful for disassembling the bottom bracket. It's usually a painful task for me, so it's appreciated. A special wrench for securing the motor nuts, similar to BBS-02B. I'll explain its special nature in the next installation video. 
Zip ties, not enough for me. I typically need three times the quantity for installing a motor on a bike. I couldn't find the manual, which is frustrating. Tongsheng Electric doesn't provide a manual with the motor, which isn't user-friendly for first-time installers. However, Barstrom eBike informed me that they've created a manual, as shown in the top right corner. It will be included in this year's motor kit, along with a warranty card. Thank you again to Varstrom.com for providing the motor and accessories. There are many similarities between these parts and the Buffang BBS, so I've also prepared a BBS for comparison to see their differences. See, the TSDZ8 is larger, especially the core, controller, and heatsink, which are 25% larger than the BBS-02B. However, despite the size difference, their weight differs by only about 500 rar. This is intriguing because Tongsheng achieved a lighter weight with a larger area. I'm not sure if this will result in better heat dissipation, but I'll test it in the next video. Looking at the bottom bracket section, Tongsheng's torque sensor is inside, which I'll demonstrate in the next video. Its external shape is almost identical to the BBS. Regarding surface construction, they are quite similar. But a significant structural difference is that to repair the BBS-02B, you need to remove the plastic cover here before disassembling the controller below, which requires more time and steps. However, for TSDZ8, it's an aluminum alloy structure, which looks more robust and doesn't require additional disassembly to remove the controller, which is a good design. It's worth noting that both BBS and TSDZ8 versions sold by Barstrom use XT60 interface versions, rather than the previous bullet connector versions. Previously, you needed a bullet XT60 interface conversion cable to connect the battery's XT60 interface, but now you can connect them directly. We currently have the Bafang BBS-02B in our hands. On the motor surface, you can see the prominent Bafang logo, letting you know that this is a Bafang product. However, Tongsheng does not label its motors with the TSE logo, which is very low key. I think this is disadvantageous for brand promotion. We can also see that there is a new customer code in the BBS encoding, C76951, which is Vartstrom's exclusive code. Each supplier's code is different, so it is important to pay attention to identification. Other aspects seem roughly the same, with no significant differences. In the next video, I will dismantle these two motors and compare their internal structures, analyzing their differences in construction, quality, driving principles, maintainability, and other dimensions. This is Varstrom's channel. Thank you very much for watching my video. This is my first time making a video, so I welcome feedback and communication in the comments section. I will respond to each one. If you find this video helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel and giving it a free like, as this is very important to me. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.